the secret before? Well, in this story we're going to read today, we're going to hear about something just like this. It's called Maddie's Fridge. It's written by Lewis Brandt and illustrated by Vin Vogel. Hi, I'm Taryn, and let's get right to it. When Sophia and Maddie played at the park, they stretched their toes to the sky. They climbed to the top of the ladder and flew off the end of the slide. They stayed until the buildings grew long shadows and even the taxis stopped honking. Let's play on the climbing wall, Maddie said. No way, Sophia said. I can't reach. Yes way, Maddie skated up to the top of the wall. Your turn. Sophia put a foot on the bottom rock, grabbed with one hand and stretched. But she couldn't reach the next hole. <coughs> Sophia's stomach growled. I give up. Let's get a snack. No way, Maddie said. Let's stay here. Yes way. Sophia ran to Maddie's building and raced up the stairs. Wait, Maddie ran after her. Maddie was the best climber, but Sophia was the fastest runner. Sophia swung open the door of Maddie's fridge. What have you got? We have some milk, Maddie said. I'm saving it for Ryan. He's still little. Why doesn't your mom go to the store? Sophia asked. We don't have enough money. But what if you get hungry? We have some bread, Maddie said. I guess I'll go home to eat, Sophia said. Please don't tell anyone, Maddie said. Okay, promise? I promise. Have you ever had someone ask you to keep a secret? I have too. Sophia ran past the bookstore and grocery store. The sun went down behind the buildings and took all the colors with it. Good timing, Mom said. Dinner's almost ready. Lewis was wrestling on the floor with Pepito. Sophia opened their refrigerator door. Pepito peeked inside. Sophia's fridge was full of milk and eggs and tortillas and lettuce and jam and salsa and tofu and even a half a can of dog food. Here you go, Mom said. Sophia and Lewis each had a plate of fish and rice. Mom had a plate of fish and rice. Even Pepito had his dog, had his bowl of dog food with a little bit of fish and rice. Maddie and Ryan only had some bread and a small carton of milk. Sophia couldn't tell Mom. She had to keep her promise to Maddie. Not fish again, Lewis said. I want cheesy pizza bombs. Cheesy pizza Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, Mom said. Is fish good for kids? Sophia asked. Yes, Mom smiled. Fish is perfect for kids. That night, Sophia had an idea. What do you think her idea is? What's she gonna do? Yuck, Maddie said the next day. Oh, Sophia said, double yuck. Fish may be good for kids, but fish is not good for backpacks. After school, Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia got there first, but Maddie scrambled past her to the top of the wall. Sophia stretched and stretched. Keep trying, Maddie said. You'll get it. I can't. Sophia jumped down. It was way too high. Do you ever feel like you, you can't do something, but then you actually do it? That's how she felt. That night, Sophia, Lewis, and Mom ate the frappita. Pepito and his dog, Pepito had his dog food with a little bit of frittita. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty refrigerator. Sophia couldn't ask for help. That would break her promise. She had to try again. Are eggs good for kids? Sophia asked. Not as good as cheesy pizza bombs, Lewis said. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, Mom said. Eggs are good for you. After dinner, Sophia packed eggs for Maddie and Ryan. Yuck, Maddie said. Double yuck, Sophia said. Eggs be, may be good for kids, but eggs are not good for backpacks. Yuck, that's disgusting. I would not want eggs in my backpack. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won again, but Maddie shot past her to the top of the wall. Sophia grabbed one hold, 
reached for the next one and came down with a thump. That happens sometimes, Maddie called. This is impossible, Sophia said. Keep trying, Maddie said. You'll get it. That night, Sophia, Lewis, and Mom had burritos. Pepito had his dog food with a little bur bit of burrito and no salsa. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty fridge. Sophia wished she hadn't promised Maddie. I would not want to be how Maddie, how Sophia's feeling right now. I want to help Maddie. Are burritos good for kids? Sophia asked. Burritos are very good for you, Mom said. Not as good as? Lewis started to say. You should pay attention to nutrition like your sister, Mom said. The next morning, Sophia put two burritos in her backpack, along with tortillas, beans, cheese, and even some milk. Um, no thanks, Maddie said. You haven't even looked, Sophia said. Is it fish? Maddie asked. No. Is it eggs? No. Is it gross? I don't know, Sophia said. Maddie shook the backpack. Something sloshed. Let's look together, Maddie said. One, two, three, go! Burritos are good for kids and good for backpacks too. Do you want some milk? Sophia asked. Thanks, Maddie said, but I'll save some for Ryan. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won as usual and tried to climb. You can do it, Maddie said. Take my hand. Woohoo! I made it to the top, Sophia shouted. We're the tallest kids in the park, Maddie said. Thanks for helping me, Maddie. I couldn't do it alone. Maddie shrugged. That's what friends are for. After they finished playing, Sophia walked past home, the bookstore, and the grocery store. Her own fridge was full of milk and juice and chicken and yogurt and bread and carrots and even half a can of dog food. She thought and thought and thought. Maddie's fridge only had two tortillas and a cup of beans and a bit of cheese and a little more milk than before. Should Sophia do something? Sophia didn't want to break her promise, but she couldn't help Maddie alone. Sophia told. She hoped Maddie wouldn't be mad. I'm glad you told me, Mom said. Let's see what we can do together. They loaded grocery bags with milk, flour, chicken, carrots, sugar, oil, and even frozen meat and vegetables. Lewis, pack Lewis pulled his package of cheesy pizza bombs out of the freezer. He thought and thought and thought some more. Then he put the cheesy pizza bombs in Maddie and Ryan's bag. That was so sweet of Ryan. For a treat, he said. At Maddie's apartment, the moms talked. Lewis and Ryan played. Sophia and Maddie ran to the park. You broke your promise, Maddie said. I'm sorry, Sophia said. Are you mad? A promise is important, Maddie said. You're more important, Sophia said. I wanted you to have milk too. Maddie smiled. Are we still friends, Sophia asked. Always, Maddie said. Double always, Sophia said. Cheesy pizza bombs, Lewis yelled. Our moms made cheesy pizza bombs for a treat. Sophia and Maddie raced up the stairs. Sophia slowed down so they could run together. That's what friends are for. Thanks for reading us with us, guys. That was so fun. Bye! She told her mom, and her mom had the perfect solution. Their family brought over food to Maddie's family, and they all ate together. Now, their families are best friends. What an awesome ending. Bye! See you next time!